Now let's understand the next property that is the commutative property. Now in the commutative property, unlike the closure property, we have to check whether the order matters or not. Now the commutative property for addition is to check whether A plus B is the same as B plus A or not. Now let's consider two numbers 3 and 2. So when we add 3 and 2, is it the same as 2 plus 3? The answer is yes, because 3 plus 2 is 5 and 2 plus 3 is also 5. If we look at the case of subtraction, is A minus B the same as B minus A? Let's take the example, is 5 minus 6 the same as 6 minus 5? The answer is no, because 5 minus 6 is going to give you minus 1, whereas in the case of 6 minus 1, 5, the answer is positive 1. So here we have minus 1, here we have positive 1, so commutative property does not hold good in case of subtraction. What about the case of multiplication? Is A into B the same as B into A? When we multiply two numbers, let's say 3 into 2, does the order matter? 3 into 2 gives you 6, 2 into 3 also gives you 6. So I can say that the commutative property is true in case of multiplication. The last case we are going to check for division. Is A by B, that is A divided by B, the same as B by A? The answer is no, because 3 by 4 is not the same as 4 upon 3. 3 divided by 4 is something else, and 4 divided by 3, you will get a different value. They are not equal. So, we find that the commutative property is true only in case of addition and multiplication. It is not true for subtraction or division. Next is the associative property. Let's check whether the associative property is true in case of addition. Does the order of the brackets and the order of this A, B, C matter when we are adding? So is A plus B plus C the same as A plus B plus C? The answer is yes, because when we add numbers, the order does not matter. So 3 plus 2 plus 5 will be the same as 3 plus 2 plus 5. Because here when we add this 2 and 5 will give you 7. 7 and 3 will give us 10. Here 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 5 will also give us 10. So in case of addition, we can say the associative property is true. In case of subtraction, we find that is A minus B minus C the same as A minus B minus C? If you substitute relevant values here of A, B, C, you will find that they are not equal. Again, let's try for multiplication. A into B into C. Is it equal to A into B into C? Here, you substitute any value of A, B and C, you will find that the order of multiplication does not matter. Wherever we will put the bracket, the answer is going to be same. So, we can say that the associative property is true for multiplication as well. And if you look at division, A divided by B divided by C, is it equal to A divided by B divided by C? The answer is will be, it will not be. So, you have to check like this. As I have done here in the case of addition, you can try for subtraction, multiplication and division. You will find that the associative property is true only in case of addition and multiplication. It will not be true in case of subtraction or division.